Come on, Rangers. Come on, Rangers. We missed the whole game. BJ, look! Definitely body warmer weather, isn't it? It is, isn't it? It's got down in it. Like, it's, yeah. it's so warm, it's unbelievable. This is better than yours. Slazenger. After their County Cup exploits in Sutton, Charlwood are kicking off another trophy hunt this week, this time in the Montgomery Cup. They are welcoming fellow Mid-Sussex Prem side Linfield, who represents a picturesque village just north of Haywards Heath. And while Barks and Mike don't have to travel for today's game, a home fixture does mean an early start in order to set up the pitch and the changing rooms. Are you a plumber as well? The game is taking place on the weekend of Remembrance Sunday, something that means a lot to the child manager. I feel pretty good. Obviously Remembrance Day, so we're going to make a big thing of that. It means a lot to us in the club and we're going to honour the people that obviously lost their lives so we could come out on a Saturday and have a kick around and have a laugh and enjoy ourselves. And one of those, Bill Day, you know, was part of World War II and he played for our club. So someone like him watching today is a big honour for all the boys and, and we'll tell them. Um, yeah, full squad, everyone fighting fit, raring to go. No injuries at all. Oh, mate. <laughs> nah, there's a few little niggles and bits and bobs. But um, it's what it is. We've had a two weeks rest. Ben Herdman, who's a big, big player for us, is, is struggling. So, yeah, that comes with old age. And unfortunately, Ben's very old, so... We need to kind of nurse him through it, but he'll be back. Hey Tyler, come in mate, come in. Good to see you mate. Um, I don't know about you, but when I, when I put that on, I know you little class by the way, I feel sick when I put that on. It just feels, I feel honoured to be wearing that and to be stood there. Like I said, about to do something we all love. Chaps out there who, who was out there, God knows what these, these boys went through out there, young men like yourselves, and they've given us this privilege to do something we love. We need to, Take that on board and honour that, but it's a game of football. All right, so don't get too hit up. We're not out here crying. We're not out here mourning anyone. It's a celebration. It's a celebration of our country today. It's a celebration that we are together. It's a celebration that we're stood here with such an amazing group of people and we're about to go and enjoy a game of football. And all those people sat there watching want you just to go and enjoy it and just keep that respect. But the effort and the enjoyment, when you get the ball, take care of it, work it, finish things, shots, crosses, Go out there and play football like you've done on a school playground your whole life. Go and play with freedom. We don't shout and holler and condemn you. Go and enjoy having the ball. Yes, I want you to work defensively and squeeze in. But we honour people and we honour history by doing something with a smile, with a love and an enjoyment. Get on the ball. Express yourselves today. Let them know why we are top of this league. Eight from eight. About to go nine from nine. All right, boys? Let's get out there. Oh, Despite the driving and perhaps fittingly sombre rain, 97-year-old Bill, who played for Child after arriving in the village during World War II, leads the two sides in a poignant minute of silence. It becomes very apparent early on that the home side are not going to be overawed by the occasion. From the kickoff, Child mostly camp out in the Linfield half, while Bailey Rumbelow finds out what it's like to have to work the line in front of his manager. Hey, go on, Bailey, get in! 1v1, straighten him up, straighten him up, get at him, Bailey! Drive! Drive with the ball, Bailey. Well done, Bailey, great work, Bailey. Cut this line here, just cut the ball to me here, well done. Relax! Quality, Bailey! Relax! Here we go! Great ball! Great delivery, Bay. A series of set pieces put Linfield under extreme pressure. They do manage to intervene when Tom Tennant threatens. Tom on that run's so dangerous, isn't it? I don't know how you stop that. But Jamie Liddell's devilish corner eventually proves their undoing. Yeah. Good ball, Jay! Fullback Adam Lippitt, who failed to score when he paid up top in the previous game, finds the net with a header. Well done, lips. Good start, lads. Good start. Moments later, striker Ryan Pearson oh. comes close, with Child showing a hunger for more. When Jordan Walsh is robbed in his own box, Murphy sets up Pearson again, but the striker can't beat Paolo Chambriello. Oh, Roy! Right. 
The return of the injury-plagued Ryan Pearson is proving very promising indeed for Charlwood. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. you got men coming. Nice, Ryan. Although somebody needed to forewarn Linfield captain Andy Brown that Rosehead is in fact somebody's house. No foul, Payne Angels, no foul. Good boy. Oh, Jesus. Relax and quality, Aaron. Shots, Aaron. Shots, Aaron. The Charlwood pressure is relentless. Mike Smith is overpowering the opposition in midfield and Ryan Pearson is proving too strong in the penalty area. Right. That's your strength. That's your strength. That's your strength. Oh. Great football. Oh, Steve. Targets, targets Mike, control it. Oh. With little to do in defence, fullback Aaron Murphy pushes forward and opens Linfield up like a 24 hour Tesco Express. <laughs> Ryan Pearson finally gets his deserved goal, slotting it through the legs of keeper Paolo Ciambriello. Yes, Ryan! There we go, there we go. Well one back. Go on, Aaron, go on, Aaron! Time, Aaron, loads of time, loads of time. Get round him, Aaron. Get round him, Aaron. Support him, Aaron. Great football. Keep it short. Keep working the ball. Go on if you have to. Time. Time. Love it. Keep the ball. Charles' passing is as slick as the rain drenching our equipment, and it's not long before Linfield's defensive dam is breached once again. Shorts, Mike. Shorts, Mike. Why not? What a ball that is, Mike. Tommy! It's a rare tap in for Tom Tennant, whose feet are usually reserved for kicking people really hard. Keep going! Relentless! Yes, Tommy! With the feet, son! Yeah, I just want to make sure we've got the corner done. <laughs> How are you? How are you feeling? How are you? How are you feeling? Good. All right, Dino. Class covering. With the feet as well, Tommy, eh? With the feet. Brilliant, brilliant. Well done, Bailey. Superb. Um, we talked about kind of doing this badge proud. I love coming here laughing and joking. It, it couldn't be better for me. People are enjoying it. Uh, people are doing everything we've asked. Overlapping. We're creating those overloads. It took us a few seconds. Obviously, we haven't played for a couple of weeks. We've all kind of found our feet. But you're working so hard for each other in there. We've been very expansive. It's been class. Two big centre-halves. All they're doing is heading it back. Midfield, those pieces. Let's get those pieces. Mike's doing it, but sometimes a bit deep. Mike, a bit higher. Everything that goes in the middle, there's a big gaping hole. So that three in there is a triangle. It's Stevie, it's Mike and Tommy, and we're working as a triangle. Because when that centre-half goes up, I only know, because that's where I used to play, I was always like, right, I'm getting this seconds and I'm playing. Dino, you've been class covering there. Josh, I've thrown you in at centre half. You've been superb. Ryan, doing everything we've asked. Probably going to be another 10 minutes for three of us because I want to get all the three subs on today because they've been out supporting you boys on. So put it all in. Keep using that ball. Let's ground out. Sometimes we, we do have these games here and then we concede and make it a long afternoon. Let's really... Four, five, six here, boys. Let's re honestly, let's, let's, be, let's be relentless here. Let's kill it in the first 5-10. Go out after them. Four, five, six on the scoreboard. Come in here. Let's have a nice beer after. All right? Well done, boys. Keep the attitude. You've been class. Immediately after the restart and before a bunch of amateurs could get back on the cameras, Jamie Liddell turned on the style. Oh. <laughs> His goal of the season contender, destroying any spirits that remained in the Linfield camp. Yes, Jamie! Well done, Tyler. Go. What a save. Zach Rice managed to preserve his clean sheet here, but while a bunch of amateurs was again indisposed, Linfield broke through to make it 4-1. Much to the home goalkeeper's clear frustration. Kev, I'm going to put you just in behind Ryan, in that little hole, yeah? Just get on the ball, yeah. work it across side to side. Join. Just sit in that little space for a minute, just because Payne is in there, give him a little bit of support. All right, Mike. He's in, in the middle with Tomo. You're in front. 
The introduction of Kevin Locke midway through the second half gives Child renewed, if somewhat unneeded, impetus. Ryan, Ryan, oh, Ryan, Ryan. Mike can't be walking near the shirt like that. Mike can't be. Touching it. Target. Keeper's had a worldie, by the way. Even though it's an incredibly one sided game, Chambriello is determined to keep the score down. Keeper's had a good game. And Tom Tennant's back to doing what he does best kicking people really hard. Luke Paskins drops the resulting free kick into the penalty box and Andrew Davies' header is well tipped over by Zach Rice. Well done, baby. Great ball, Kev. Target day, target day. When Jamie does manage to beat Chambriello again, his shot skims the upright. The same cannot be said for Jamie's 20-yard volley attempt. Oh, good ball, he's staying in, staying in. Jamie. Lovely class there, mate. Yeah. Great ball, Jay. Unreal. Pieces, yeah, sometimes when he does it. Go on. As the match rolls into the final 10 minutes, Linfield's players have all but given up, which may explain Kevin Locke's muted celebrations. That's the most muted goal I've ever seen. <laughs> Kev, you just scored a great goal. <laughs> Great goal. No emotion. Gigs. Not one to miss out on a goal fest, Stephen Payne then gets in on the action. Yes, Payne! Kev, you alright? Go on. That's a big blow. He's had two weeks off for hamstring, now he's calf. Kevin Locke's ageing body is beginning to let him down. Still, he's not one to let a pulled calf muscle stop him from scoring. He just scored again though. Kev! He just got a great goal. Kev. Kev, just come and have a rest. I need you next week. It's like a minute, Kev. Game's done. You've got two. Do you have me alright? Rather this, mate, rather than the hammer, yeah. Oh, yeah. I bought this. I don't know if you want to massage that in. This, this went in the cup final when we went 3 0 but 15 minutes in and I played on. So. Alright, boys. I would just say we wore a poppy today. We wore that with pride and honour. You enjoyed it because you worked hard for each other. We've had two weeks off. We've come back and put seven past the team. And we're still growing, like Mike said, still evolving. And the team we're going to become is a million miles from this. So trust me, you're all going to get better. I know we're all different ages, but it's all there. All the ingredients, all the ingredients to be in that clubhouse with another three trophies and some big, big games in the County Cup. Well done, boys. 7-1. Get in there. Superb boys! The club don't just rely on Barks and Mike to put the games on, so it's about time we celebrated the work of the hitherto unsung hero, Hannah Payne. So we do rolls, um, we've just started doing bacon rolls, beers, tea, coffee, hot chocolate, snacks. Um, make the tea, make the coffee, make the rolls, um, just serve food and drink really. For... Uh, I think we started last season, so before that none of this used to open, we just used to go to the pub afterwards, but we thought we might as well make a bit of extra money for the club, make it a bit more social for everyone to stay afterwards. Well, to be honest, I would be here anyway, because my um, husband plays every week and we've got two young kids, so we'd be here watching him anyway. So to be honest, to be inside in the warm, talking to people, it suits me, yeah. Um, yeah, it can be a challenge, sort of watching over them, so they're four, uh, as well as keeping this going. Um, usually I've got a few extra pair of hands or some of the other spectators keep an eye on them for me, but they're happiest if they're just outside getting covered in mud. So like I say, we would be at the football anyway, because they enjoy it. So I think the parish council run it. I think they got lottery funding to build this pavilion and um, sort of sort the pitch out. The pitch is great, it drains really well. We've had loads of games where we thought it would be called off from the rain and it hasn't been. 
Um, and this is used not just for the football teams, um, it's used during the week. I think there's a yoga class here, you can hire it out for parties. So it's a really lovely um, space, we're really lucky to have it. Any more? Can I knock this? Like, get rid of this it's shit. I said to some of you in there, days like this when you expect to win, it's a strange feeling. But the laughter, the enjoyment, the effort we put in, you beat what's in front of you with that relentlessness that we're going to need. Next week is huge. It's a good, good side next week. It's the County Cup. And I've said to you since day one, I want you boys at that Dorking Wanderers ground because you deserve it. Not me and him, you because of what you put in. That's a big, big game. We're still in all three. We will be in here. There will be trophies and champagne flying around. And I want us to have three of them lined up like we did last year, but more important, more valuable ones this year, because that County Cup says something to everyone in the area. And you deserve that, because you're class, and you put it in every game, every training session, everything you do. All right? Thanks, boys. Well done. And that being said, MOM egg roll, or cheese roll now it's cheese become. Cheese roll, MOM today, lads. Um, not all of us can step on the bench and score two, or score worldies like the Dell and stuff. This person's worked really hard over the last few weeks when the Dell has been off so much himself in Dubai. Um, today, relentless from the work going, winning headers, tracking back, getting forward, putting himself in the mix, and doing really, really well. And I can only say you must have a good teacher when you're at school, mate. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Next week on Bunch of Amateurs. The top of their league, probably similar journey to us. Yeah! Tough game for the teams, not difficult for me. Don't even get me started on the official. I made it comfortable for myself. He's given a drop ball. Why isn't he an old back ref? He doesn't give it. He yeah! swung his arm. I haven't got any dignity left really after that. The challenge is flying in. I've had lads with their hair pulled. This is a disgrace today, I'm telling you. The attitude. I'm glad I'm never playing again. Everyone I care about is in this little circle now. Some of that was disgraceful. Hey! Get out of your form! Referee! Oh my God! See it all now, referee! Bunch of Amateurs is now on Patreon, so if you want us to keep going, give us some support and we'll give you some behind the scenes footage.